Hello and welcome to The Prevailing Word. I am Apostle Richard Anibamoy. The prevailing word for today is, you must be impregnated and possess the knowledge that only faith can produce. You must be impregnated and possess the knowledge that only faith can produce. Now let us look at our text for today. And our text is from Hebrews chapter 11 from verses one through to three. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Now from this text we glean our prevailing word for today, which is you must be impregnated and possess the knowledge that only faith can produce. Now right now you're going through certain things in life, and the knowledge that you possess, that you have gleaned from your circumstances, your experiences, your academics, this knowledge is not able, it's not able to take you to the next level. And that is why for you to move to another dimension, there is another kind of knowledge that you need to possess. There's another kind of knowledge that you need to be impregnated with. And that knowledge is the knowledge that only faith can produce. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 in verse 7 says, We walk by faith and not by sight. Your sight can produce certain level of knowledge that will not take you farther. But when you walk by faith, you will be impregnated with a knowledge that will take you to the next level. Now let me read this verse to us uh, from other translations. The first translation I want to read is from Darby's translation. It says, By faith we apprehend. I like that word. By faith, we apprehend that the words were framed by the word of God. How did we know that the world was framed by the word of God? By faith. You and I, we were not there. But by faith, we agree. By faith, we acknowledge. By faith, we apprehend that the words were framed by the word of God. So that the, so that, that which is seen should not take its origin from things which appear. That is how Darby, Darby translated that, that verse for us. Now, 20th century New Testament translated this way. Faith enables us to perceive that the universe was created at the bidding of God so that we know that what we see was not made out of visible things. So that we know, you see, faith produces a knowledge that enhances you. Faith produces a knowledge that will cause you to rise above your circumstances, that will cause you to rise above your situation. Basic Bible in basic English translates this same verse like this, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. By faith, it is clear to us that the order of events were fixed by the word of God, so that so that what is seen has not been made from things which only seem to be. And now you need to gain this knowledge that only faith alone can produce. For instance, you're going through some situation right now and the current knowledge that you possess cannot give you a hence way of this situation. That the knowledge that you possess cannot give you leverage. So you need to understand that as you study the word of God, Faith will begin to produce knowledge in you. And with this kind of knowledge, you'll be able to rise above your circumstance. So no matter what you're going through right now, for instance, maybe you're dealing with health issue. The Bible tells us that by his stripes, you are healed. So no matter what you feel, no matter what you see, no matter what you hear, you just possess this knowledge that only faith is able to produce. And that knowledge is that by his stripes, you are healed. So no matter what circumstance, no matter what the situation is, as you hold on to the word of God, as you hold on to the knowledge that only faith can produce, you will be above your circumstance. You'll be above your situation. So let me repeat it to you again. You must be impregnated with and possess the knowledge that only faith can produce. So whatever the doctors have told you, whatever your situation is saying right now, you need to have the knowledge that God is able, Ephesians 3.20, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly what you think or imagine according to the power that is at work within you. So no matter the circumstance, you know that God is able. You just know that it is well. You just know that God will, will bring you through. 
So the circumstance will no longer detect your progress, but the word of God. And that is why the scripture is saying to us, that by faith we apprehend that the words were framed by the word of God. So that that which is seen should not take its origin from things which appear. So walk by faith and not by sight. Romans chapter 10 verse 7 says to us, it says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the more you glean the word of God, the more knowledge you are impregnated with. And the more you possess the knowledge that only faith can produce, the more you become a victor. And so on today, I want you to know, that you need to be impregnated with the knowledge, you need to possess the knowledge that only faith can produce. Now, until our next episode, I want you to keep holding on to the prevailing word.